Hey, welcome to Technology Paul. Today we are reviewing an Asus monitor that is part of their ProArt lineup of products. We're specifically looking at the ProArt display PA279CV. This product is available on Amazon as well as other retailers, and it's meant to be a budget monitor that is for serious creative artists and designers. In fact, Asus has a whole line of ProArt products, including monitors, laptops, and desktops, which in their words, are intended to satisfy the needs of creative professionals. When you think about what a creative professional might need, you probably think of things like having a high quality, crystal clear display for detail work and having high color accuracy for designing and creating stunning visuals. So does this Asus monitor live up to its pro art name? Let's find out. Let's start by taking it out of the box. This monitor, like I said, is a 27 inch monitor. It's got a 4K UHD resolution at 3840 by 2160. It's also equipped with a USB-C port that can deliver a one cable input to your computer, carrying a DisplayPort video signal and 65 watt power delivery. Plus it's a USB hub because it has three USB ports and a headphone jack and all that data can transfer to your laptop through the USB USB connection as well. Obviously that's a great quality of life feature because it means you can walk up to your desk, plug in your laptop with one cable, and start using the display. In my case, I've got another Asus monitor side by side, so I'm still plugging into two cables. But if you've just got the ProArt display as a single monitor, you just need the one cable. On the back of the monitor, you do have the traditional HDMI ports as well. So if you want to connect that way, you can. Now this is a 4K monitor, like I said, but I've placed it beside this older Asus monitor, which is an A-Open gaming monitor that's 1080p. It's hard to show you the exact difference between between these displays through this video. But I think most people understand that a 4K monitor has double the pixels of a 1080p display. And when you look at an image side by side and look closely, it really becomes clear. In this image, the first thing you might notice is that the color is much more vibrant and true to life on the ProArt display. For example, if you look at the grass, it looks kind of grayish and very flat, but it comes out as essentially golden on the ProArt. You see a greater depth of shadow and highlights because it's able to recreate the color more accurately. If you look at this large balloon, the color is more vibrant and more bright than on the 1080p display. You get a greater depth of field and clearer lines. You see a more natural shadow and more depth. When you look at the woman's dress, it's more vibrant on the ProArt display. On the 1080p display, it all flattens out because you just don't have that range of color. The higher resolution is obvious as well if you look at certain parts of the image. For example, with this woman's hat, you can see the braided texture of the hat on the pro art where it looks completely flat and textureless on the other monitor when you look at the baskets of the balloon you get significantly increased clarity you can tell it's a basket you can see the people inside and on the 1080p display they look kind of like little blobs. The cliff in the distance is distinct and sharp on the pro art versus soft and blended in the background on the 1080p display. Now it's no surprise the pro art display outperforms the gaming monitor. That's by design, of course. Asus has designed this monitor to be extremely color accurate, and they state it has a color accuracy of Delta E less than two. I had to look up what that means, but essentially Delta E is a metric for understanding how the human eye perceives color. It represents the distance between two colors. The idea is that a Delta E value of 1.0 is the smallest color difference the human eye can see. The lower the Delta E, the closer the color rendered on the screen is to what it is intended to be. Since the ProArt display has a Delta E of less than two, it is considered to be excellent for professional work that requires high color fidelity, such as graphic design, photo editing, and video production. And if color standards are your thing, the ProArt can deliver. It can reproduce 100% of the colors in the sRGB standard, which is often used in web and graphic design, as well as 100% of the Rec. 709 standard, which is used in photography and video. For those who dabble in HDR videography, the ProArt also supports the DCI P3 color gamut. If these standards mean anything to you, then you're probably looking for a monitor like this one. You can actually switch between these 
these color standards using the Pro Art palette settings on the monitor. Simply switch between the standards in the digital menu. They are ready there as color presets to select from, but as always, you can adjust the color manually by adjusting all kinds of settings. I'd recommend sticking to one of the preset standards though, unless you really know what you're doing with the manual adjustments. To add extra confidence for their pro users, Asus has provided a factory calibration certificate with each monitor it ships. They use a software platform called Kalman, which is a specialized color calibration software used by professionals. Being Kalman verified means that the monitor's color accuracy has been tested and certified using Kalman software, ensuring that it meets the high standards for color precision. Asus also offers their ultra low blue light technology which they claim protects you from blue light emissions that may be harmful for your vision. It offers four blue light filter settings that are easily accessed through the on-screen menu via the hotkey. There are a couple more cool features of this monitor I should tell you about as well. For one, you see these little ticks on the bottom of the display. It kind of looks like a ruler, doesn't it? That's because it is there to help you align documents using their actual real life size. And for that, a ruler really comes in handy. Not only that, but there's a virtual virtual scale as well. All you have to do is go into the quick fit menu and then you can overlay a ruler on the screen, an A5 document, a B5 document, or a grid. This is all meant to aid in previewing documents at the real life size. On top of that, if you're one of those people who like to have their display rotated 90 degrees, yep, you can do that. If you're looking to mount this display on a VESA mount, you can do that really easily as the ProArt display has a quick release stand, which makes mounting it or unmounting a screw-free process. My opinion is that the screen looks really great. I'm not an expert, but it definitely appears to have a better than average visual fidelity. My wife, who is a graphic designer, also has boasted about how the color looks so much better, especially compared to the Asus monitor we have right next to it. In fact, I think we'll have to get another one so that both monitors match up. At the end of the day, even at around $600, which is what I paid, it's technically a budget monitor for the capabilities it has. Color accurate monitors like this that are used for photography and design are often thousands of dollars. So that fact alone makes the Pro Art Display a great choice. What are your thoughts on the Asus Pro Art Display PA279CV? Are you considering buying one? These types of monitors are specialized for high detail work, so you're likely needing it for those types of purposes. I wouldn't really recommend it for the average computer user, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and click that like button as it helps more people find this content. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more tech videos uploaded regularly. My main focus is on gadgets and smart home tech. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe. Thanks and we'll catch you in the next one.